Hi guys, it's October 31st, so that means the Miku Legends 2 mod is now out. So this video is going to go over how to patch it. Uh, to start, you're going to want to go over to the itch.io project page, and the link should be around in the description or post or somewhere around this video, so you can uh, easily find it. Otherwise, you can look it in the address bar there. It's dashio.itch.io slash mml2 slash hyphen miku hyphen mod so uh, pretty easy hopefully hopefully google will pick it up and index it uh, and then we're going to want to go down and scroll to the bottom and you should see something that says download and patcher it's not actually a download it's just a link to the patcher and i uh, will show you how to use the patcher now so you want to click on it and that will take you to this page uh, with a nice cool 3d rendering of a hypothetical box art for what Miku Legends 2 would look like. And thanks again to Sumigumi for the logo and Zinus22 did a freaking amazing job on the uh, cover art. So let's see, my stupid face is in the way. I'm gonna move myself over a little bit here now. And what you wanna do is on the little card here is gonna be two things. One is patch bin and the other one is gonna be download queue. So for patch bin, what you're gonna do is click on it and it should bring up a file selector. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is, assuming you have Mega Man Legends 2, or the ROM for it, the USA version for it, uh, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on track1.bin, and then just hit open. Now, the page isn't actually gonna do anything, isn't going to do anything, so the patcher is actually gonna run locally in the browser, and I didn't make it super obvious that it's actually running, but. It is running. And so what's gonna happen is when that's done, it's gonna open up this Miku Legends to, oh uh, crap, I still have it in my browser history from when I tested it before. Um, but it's gonna download Miku Legends to that bin. And uh, you're also gonna get a quick little pop-up here that says, uh, thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. And if you wanna support cool mods like this, uh, feel free to check me out over there. So go ahead and close that. And then the other thing you're going to do is download the queue. And so that way you have a queue bin. And all this does is basically uh, this sets it up so that PSX emulates are happy. Um, you can run it with just the bin, but the queue bin, just some, some, a lot of emulators prefer having the, uh, the queue in there as well. But once you're done there, uh, the patch is officially done and you can close out of that and head over to, head over to the duck station or whatever emulator you want to use and go to system, start file. And it's in downloads. I've got two copies because I tested right before this, but you should have, assuming you don't have the, uh, the parentheses one in there, uh, just like Miku Legends 2, that Q. And that will go ahead and start up. So if we look at it, so try to skip through this. There's a long 10 minute opening, skip over it. And then you should immediately see the, uh, the Miku Legends 2 logo. And that way you know it's patched, it should be working. And if you hit game start, And I'm going to turn off the sound here. So basically, if you've gotten here, uh, then you can see that Miku is indeed uh, replacing Mega Man in the game. And you can watch the cutscene or skip to it. And then from there, it'll start the first mission. And you can go ahead and put out the fire. So that's it for uh, Miku Legends 2. Uh, how to patch, how to get it set up and run. Uh, let me know if it works. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, uh, Peace out. Have a good day, nerds. Bye.